We've all been at that place where our experience and our beliefs seem to be disconnected, where reality and the language we use with which to describe our reality seems to be mismatched. Now that place is a unique opportunity and how we respond to it will will either make us more real, <laughs> um, it will either expand us and take us into a, an enriched experience, or it will make us more fake. <laughs> um, the, the philosopher Jean-Luc Marion, he spoke about uh, this, uh, something he called saturated phenomena. And what he meant by that is the kind of experience that is large of our capacity to contain. It, it saturates, it breaks through the boundaries of our concepts, of our language, of our frameworks of, of understanding. We've met many people who, whose experience of God, whose experience of life, has become so much larger than the religion and the traditions and the beliefs that they grew up with. Uh, and that's a difficult situation because a new balance has to be found. One of the ways in which many people respond to this challenge is to simply say, you know, I don't do theology anymore. I, I just want to live in this experience. It's an understandable response, but it's also limiting. There's, there's a richness of experience that we miss when we give up on language. Another form in which this disconnect uh, um, process and another form it can take on is when we lose touch with what we feel. And in that place of where our experience becomes bland, it is quite natural to grasp after the ideas, uh, the, the statements that gives us some form of security. And so many people find within their beliefs a sense of security even when there's no experiential confirmation or affirmation of what they believe. And so they discount experience. They, they just grasp onto these ideas and, and, and hold on to it whether, whether their lives confirm it or not. So that's also an understandable response, but also not optimum. See, language is not supposed to just describe our experiences. Language is an enormous opportunity with which we can enrich our experiences. Ultimately, our, those experiences that, that, that draws us beyond the language that we, and the ideas that we're familiar with should draw us into a place where we find new language, we find new concepts, we find a new framework of understanding that can contain this enriched experience and and at the same time this new language will draw us into new intense experiences so don't give up on language <laughs> and don't give up on uh, on the advancements and the creativity and the intensity of experience now, another um, philosopher, uh, Alfred North Whitehead, gave one of the best descriptions of experience I've ever found. He, he used this word as a concept that combined both mind and matter, that combined both the physical and the subjective aspects of reality. He spoke of any entity, an entity can be an atom, it can be a cell in your body, or it can be you. Every entity in every moment of its becoming feels the influence of its environment, 
it also experiences, it, it feels the possibilities of the future and somehow it needs to interpret all those influences and unify them. So, so there's a self-organization that happens within entities and there's an inner dimension to this organization in which the influences are brought into a unity. It's that inner dimension that we refer to as experience. Um, that inner dimension that combines both mind and matter, both the physical and the subjective aspects of reality. So friends, I want to encourage you that your language is part of your becoming. We can't separate meaning from, uh, from experience. We can't separate experience from the things we believe and the concepts we hold. They are meant to be in harmony. Now this might not be for everyone, but for those of you who do seek a new language, an expanded language, for those of you who do seek a, a more intense experience, I'm glad to say that we've just opened up the registration for 2023 Mimesis Academy. So I'll put the link in the video. Have a look. If that's for you, we look forward to welcoming you on this never-ending adventure <laughs> of um, enriched experience and language. Bye-bye.